Y'all want to know something? It is absolutely okay to be offended by the truth. The world will call it a hating on me. And sometimes that may be the case. But see, when you are spiritually mature or when you have a real strong passion and a real strong desire to have the truth revealed, a lot of times it don't feel good. It's going to hurt. And it's supposed to hurt because that truth, it brings change. See, some people will get these messages and they'll sit and look cross-eyed. And the reason why they look cross-eyed because they let the world seed in them that every open door means an opportunity. And absolutely not. Because when you're spiritually mature, okay, those of you who may have the desire to grow beyond the things of your flesh, and let God use you for the season that you are in. See, you don't let your circumstances grow you. You want to be thrust into demonic activity. Like I see so many people rushing to start channels and, and all of that's great. But everything is not for everybody. It may be a season for you. It might just not be this season. And so sometimes you have to say no, but that only comes with you having spiritual maturity. See, it takes a real strong person to be able to see an opportunity that seems good. See, we listen to the melodic noise that comes from out of the enemy's mouth and we let that thing play on our mental. And I say it all the time. When your ears are not gatekeepers to your thoughts, a lot of crazy things will start happening. It's a fact. See, we give too many good graces to things that we are not supposed to attach ourselves to. But when we're not spiritually grounded, when we have no direction, when we are not focused, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yep. Uh-huh. See, when people are not in a place to receive truth, we are fumbled. And I mean fumbled bad. That's why God allows people free will. Have your way. Let the sin that you are in ravish you. I mean completely ravish you. See, I noticed that a lot of us are afraid to dive into the book of Revelations. But me, myself, I'm getting ready to go at it. I want to know. I want God to show me. I want him to seed in me that word. I need that message because I know that this woman right here, she going to evolve. And because of who you are, you're going to evolve too. You see, every time, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a good prime example how I know that the enemy don't like when the word goes forth because I've been in here all day. Ain't nothing been going on. The moment it gets dark, it seems like all hell break loose. But when I tell you prayer life is in this place, not a devil from the miry pits of hell going to be able to keep me from the love of God or from the things of God. So for all of those who have an ear to hear, Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you send them, Father God, for the truth. You ain't got to take my word. Let God show up and show out real big. Make an oath and a covenant. Not just to yourself, but to the Father, that you will do your ultimate best to receive his truth. There are a lot of swindlers. There are a lot of people who pretend to be Christians. And a lot of Christians are going to go to hell. Because they want to sing a little bit, but then they want to sin. They want to dance a little bit, but then when they leave church, they want to sin. I mean, we all have done it. I'm not perfect and I'm not professing to be perfect. But when you know to do right and you do wrong, 
Whew. <laughs> that coal that start falling, that thing hits different. Open doors for immediate gratifying success to anything does not mean that it is God. Sorry. Some people might, like I said, she hating on me. No, baby. I'm hurting you with the truth. And see the truth, that's what it does. It offends wickedness. I said it before in another video. When there is darkness, okay? Darkness cannot dwell with light. Light will always outshine darkness. It's dark for a reason. What goes on in the dark? Nothing good. I got another message for you. See, y'all too busy. Some of y'all, not everybody. Too busy trying to find a quick fix. Slow and steady is the race that you should want to run. I'm going to give you another analogy, a metaphor. You ever seen a frog? They're amphibians. They like cold water environments. You take a frog, you drop that frog in some hot water, what it's going to do? It's going to jump out, right? But if you take that same frog, put him in a pot of cold water, and slowly turn that heat up, that frog don't even know it's being cooked. <laughs> and that's what's happening to a lot of people out here. They don't realize the heat's being turned up on them. And they just sitting in a mess, just simmering. Just simmering. I mean, just close your eyes real quick and just think about what I said. Simmering. We got to stop. Thinking that everything that presents itself as an opportunity is a blessing from God. Be mature enough to use wise discernment and know that if you just know that you should not be walking through that door, be mature enough to say, no, thank you. That's how you know that you're a full-blown believer in faith and an adult. Now, with that being said, I'm getting ready to take my behind the bed. And whatever you're going to do with the next few hours of your life, I pray it be blessed beyond belief. I love you super big with the love of Jesus Christ. I'll catch y'all in the next video.